So the next topic is problem solving using search. The name of the topic is problem solving using search. अब जब मैं problem solving using search की बात करता हूँ इसका मतलब क्या है? देखो बहुत ही सिंपल चीज़ है problem solving using search का मतलब ये है that we are going to take some real world problems हम कुछ real world problems को लेंगे and then we are going to give you the solution of those real world problems with the help of searching techniques keep it very simple we are going to take the help of searching techniques to solve the uh, real world problems अब यहाँ पर जो problem solving using search की बात है जैसे कि मैं कुछ simple simple examples आपके पास मैं ले लूँगा I will take some very simple examples like which are related to जो कुछ examples ऐसे होंगे जो real life problems हैं जैसे कि हमारे पास we have a problem of cannibal problem there is there are some cannibal and there are some missionaries there is a problem we will be having a problem which is related to a water jug problem जिसके अंदर we will be having two water jugs and there are different variations of that problem तो हम उन सभी problems के example यहाँ पर लेंगे अभी जो problem solving using search है अब इसको हम लोग तीन या चार अलग अलग कैटेगरीज में हम इसको डिवाइड करते हैं जो सबसे पहली कैटेगरी है दैट इज सॉल्विंग द प्रॉब्लम यूजिंग स्टेट स्पेस इसको बोलते हैं हम स्टेट स्पेस सर्च पहली कैटेगरी है दैट इज प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग यूजिंग स्टेट स्पेस सर्च एंड दिस स्टेट स्पेस सर्च इज हैविंग टू टाइप्स नंबर वन इट इज uninformed search and second one is informed search uninformed search and second one is the informed search when I am talking about the state, uh, state space search it means we will see how real world problems can be mapped into a state space and then we have search algorithms for searching out the goal in the state space okay so for example just a very simple case we'll take a problem here when i'm saying state space that means we'll take a problem there are multiple ways or multiple methods to solve this problem and to reach to a specific solution there may be more than one solutions which are present to reach to those specific solutions, we have multiple paths which are going on. Now, there are a lot of paths which may not lead to this solution, but so there are some paths which may lead to this particular solution. Now, when I am applying the searching techniques, that means we have to find a path which will take us to a goal state. It is just like a finite automata. Jaise ki, अगर आपके पास कोई फाइनेट ऑटोमेटा होता है नाउ इन दिस फाइनेट ऑटोमेटा यू विल बी हैविंग मल्टीपल पार्ट्स फ्रॉम अ गिवन स्टेट मल्टीपल पार्ट्स फ्रॉम अ गिवन स्टेट एंड देर आर सम पार्ट्स व्हिच मे लीड टू अ इनफाइनाइट डेडलॉक काइंड ऑफ स्टेट एंड देर आर सम पार्ट्स व्हिच मे लीड यू टू दिस फाइनल स्टेट टू दिस फाइनल स्टेट और कैन से फाइनल गोल पोजीशन नाउ अब इस केस में हमें क्या करना था कि हमें एक स्टार्टिंग स्टेट से एक गोल स्टेट के पास जाना है एंड इफ वी आर एबल टू रीच द गोल स्टेट दैट मींस वी आर एबल टू फाइंड द सॉल्यूशन टू दैट पर्टिकुलर प्रॉब्लम ओके दैट इज इन केस ऑफ फाइनेट ऑटोमेटा इफ यू आर एबल टू रीच द गोल स्टेट इफ यू गिव एनी स्ट्रिंग टू दिस फाइनेट ऑटोमेटा तो इसका मतलब क्या है दैट स्ट्रिंग इज प्रेजेंट इन द लैंग्वेज बट वेन आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द स्टेट स्पेस सर्च इसका मतलब क्या है देर विल बी सम रियल वर्ल्ड प्रॉब्लम्स एंड टू सॉल्व दोज रियल वर्ल्ड प्रॉब्लम्स there are multiple methods or there are multiple paths of solution which can be there i'll take some examples there are multiple paths of the solution which can be there now some of those paths will lead you to an undefined state which will never take you to a final state but some of those paths can lead you to the final state final state means you will be able to reach your goal perfectly now our aim is to reach to this particular goal अब इस गोल पर पहुंचने के लिए वी आर गोइंग टू अप्लाई डिफरेंट एल्गोरिथम्स लाइक एल्गोरिथम्स रिलेटेड टू डेप्थ फर्स्ट सर्च वी हैव ब्रेथ फर्स्ट सर्च हम वी हैव मल्टीपल एल्गोरिथम्स उन एल्गोरिथम्स को लगाकर हम इस गोल पार तक पहुंचने की कोशिश करेंगे अब उस केस में जब इस प्रॉब्लम के पूरी डोमेन की हम लोग बात करते हैं सो वेन वी टॉक अबाउट द डोमेन ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रॉब्लम 
then we may have some knowledge about the domain of this particular problem or sometimes we don't have any kind of knowledge about the domain of the problem. Now if we say that we have no knowledge, we don't know anything about the domain of that particular problem, then that is called as uninformed search. So what is the definition of uninformed search? Write it down. It, it, uninformed search is, uh, these are search problems where we do not know any domain specific information. So we have to search without any additional knowledge. So we don't have any domain specific information. We just have to search without any additional knowledge in case of uninformed search. But when we discuss about the informed search, informed search ka matlab ye hai that we have knowledge about the domain of a specific problem. We have the knowledge. Now we are going to utilize that knowledge to reach to the goal position or we can say to reach to the goal state. Okay. So write it down for the informed search. So in case of informed search, we will have functions to guide the search procedures and we will also study some algorithms for heuristic search. So here in this case, we will be having, we will have some functions which will guide the searching procedures. Okay, we have, we have some functions to guide the search procedures so that we'll be able to uh, efficiently we'll be able to reach to the goals solution state or you can say to the goal state. Okay, that is case of informed search. Now this, this first case was for the state space search. A part of state space search, now we have the next case will be for problem reduction search. Problem reduction search. Right? Now initially when we discuss, we'll, we will be discussing about the state space search, our main aim will be to solve the problems. Our main aim will not be related to optimizing that particular solution. Our main aim is that we will be able to solve the problem. Now, if we will be able to solve a particular problem, then obviously later on we can think about optimizing the solutions or optimizing the best thing. For example, uh, if you take an example of uh, we have problems like 0 1 knapsack. Now, in case of 0 1 knapsack, there are there may be multiple solutions which are present. Right? That means you have to pick an item and you have to take the time of item inside the knapsack. There may be multiple solutions which may be present. But out of those multiple solutions, our aim is to maximize the profit. So when our aim was to maximize the profit, in that case, we are having some, uh, you know, some goals to maximize something. Or you can say you are going to optimize something. But initially our main aim in case of state space search is we are going to take the problems but we are not going to focus on how can we optimize the solutions of those problems. Our main aim will be to solve the problems first. So if we can solve the problems then later on we can think about can we optimize the solutions for that particular problem. Okay. Now we have problem reduction search. In case of problem reduction search we will talk about the problems which can be decomposed into some sub problems just like we decomposed in dynamic programming. So we'll be decomposing the problems except that we'll try to understand through search how best to solve the particular problem. For example, uh, if you solve the problem of integration by parts. So when I'm saying integration by parts, that means given a complete expression, you have to do integration of that expression. But when you are going to do integration for that particular expression, now that particular expression can be divided into multiple parts. For example, let us suppose this is an expression. This expression can be divided into multiple parts. Further, these parts can be divided into multiple parts. Further, these parts can be divided into multiple parts. And there may be more than one way of dividing the complete expression. There may be more than one ways. Now, every time you are going to perform integration for a specific part. Now there may be some cost factor which will be associated for that particular part. And that cost factor will be related to uh, the time computation time which is required to solve this uh, problem or whatever. It can be the time related to solve that particular problem or time related to doing the integration for that particular problem. Still, uh, when I'm saying this uh, integration problem, that means uh, it is uh, we want to integrate a particular uh, something, but we want to make it the least cost 
possible. So when I'm, I'm saying problem reduction search, again, you can write it down. This will talk about the problems which can be decomposed into sub problems in a flavor which is similar to dynamic programming, except that we will try to understand through search how best to solve that particular problem. Now, this integration by part, for example, that example we have taken, so we can solve it in a different ways. There are different ways of solving the integration by parts problem. Now, we will associate a cost function uh, uh, with every kind of solution and try to see what is the best way to decompose the problem into parts to solve it in the best way. Okay, so that is the integration by parts. After this, we will discuss about solving the problems using tree searching algorithms. You can say tree search problems. And when I am saying tree search problems, in case of tree search problems, we will be trying to solve the problems which are related to game playing. And those game playing, for example, we have game playing related to chess. Uh, we can, uh, uh, you know, uh, we will see can we uh, design a program or can we solve a problem, particular problem using the tree search just like uh, there is a chess, some, someone is playing the chess and there are multiple uh, steps you can take in a particular input but out of those steps which will, what, what will the step which will take you to the maximum benefit. Okay, so that will be in case of tree search. So you can say in case of tree search, uh, the main idea is to give you an idea about how chess playing programs work and we will have uh, some few lectures on this tree search uh, in game trees and uh, we will see how uh, we are going to optimize a particular solution of that problem. Okay, so after this tree search we are also going to take some examples of the, some advancements in this particular area. So the main focus here will be in the state space search then we will be discussing about the problem reduction search and then we will be discussing about the tree search. Okay, so now let us start what is state space search.